Good morning or evening, friends. This is Wise Guys saying how to do it to you all. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. I thought I'd bring a Street Fighter video. I've been trying to get my feet wet in that. I've shown you that Rashid video. I really enjoy playing Rashid, but I also enjoy playing Bison. When the game first came out, when I first started seeing footage of this game, I figured that I should probably give Bison a shot. I thought the way he looked was dynamic. The changes they made to him were great. Um, so I kind of got really excited about him. Got really pumped up and I really wanted to see what I could do with him. That was a lot of realism, I'm sorry. Anywho, jumped into it, um, found he's a little tougher than I thought. I'm, I've played plenty of charge characters before, so I tried to get the notion of charge partitioning and try to get better at that. Um, still not great at it, but you know, you see some moments in here. You'll see me go for that a lot. That standing um, roundhouse into crouching strong. You can do a, that, that's a simple combo with him. If you hit that standing roundhouse, you got it. Right now, I'm up against a Urian. Urian is the latest character to be released coming from the Third Strike series. And this guy, thank goodness, gave him that classic outfit, baby. Listen, I love Urian's new look in that suit. I love his alternate. Once again, I've been telling you the alternates are great. Um, Capcom and Blizzard have been doing a good, great job with their alternate. I wish Capcom wasn't so fixed on kind of making revealing outfits for the ladies. I mean, no, I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining at all. But it would be nice to see them try to go for some different outfits that are a little more fun or just, just a little more interesting. Um, it, you know, just showing as much skin as possible isn't the best thing. Funny thing is, uh, I really like a Buki swimsuit costume because it seems fun and playful. It kind of keeps the idea of a Buki, but it's not, you know, it, it's not a bikini or anything like that. You can actually see some personality in it, and that's good. Not to say that you can't see personality with other characters, simply to say that that one's one of the better ones. I also like Laura's um, swimsuit. The swimsuit was actually really, really well done, well designed. Um, with Lawrence is, you know, a jersey on top of a bait on which is great. Anyway, I'd like to see more interesting costumes. <laughs> I did see that they're supposed to be doing one with like a hip hop Ryu and Chun Li, which don't look like the greatest costumes of all time, but they I do like the idea that they're exploring other avenues and trying to play with some stuff and I hope that doesn't just come um, just stay in Japan. I hope that comes stateside. Because I'm really interested to see how that goes. This video is about bison though, and I've spent this entire first match not talking about Bison. Talking about Urian in that banana hammock outfit. Great, great outfit. That that standard is awesome. Um, you can actually get that by holding, I think it is jab, forward, and fierce at the same time when you're going to a match. Now I can actually do some commentating. Yay! First round I got, I probably didn't deserve. Um, I'm sitting here watching it the whole time. Like, um, this is, a lot of this is um, playing against a Urian player who has not quite figured out how to play Urian in Street Fighter 5 but he's still very good um, Urian does some very massive damage so I'm trying not to get caught you will see me get caught a lot <laughs> but I mean from a headbutt he can deal great damage from his crouching fierce he can deal great damage um, so I'm trying to kind of stay out of that but also trying to keep some pressure on him so that way he doesn't feel like he can do whatever he wants that was a terrible slide I don't know why I did that. It's something about playing Bison. When you play Bison, you, you know he has that nice sliding, um, that sliding crouching roundhouse. And so you just do it for no reason. Just do it. It's not a smart move. Yeah. Yeah. Now I want to keep pressure on him. Come into him. Uh, that's not good. That age of reflector is false, though. I got lucky with that, but I'll take it. This is the thing. People try to mock you for being lucky, but everybody gets lucky. Again, don't let that steal your joy. If you get lucky, that's fine. Take it and keep going, because give it a couple of minutes, and you'll, you'll know you're doing something different. And you will see that it did not work because they got lucky. And that's okay. It's part of the game. Skill plays a much better role, though. Better to be skillful than lucky in this game. <laughs> Trying to work my um, head stomps into this a little bit more. 
I hadn't been doing it much in that first game. So I'm trying to do a little bit more in my Devil's Reverse. But... Oof. Oof. That stung. Um, but I, I, I don't really practice with that that much, so I don't, um, I don't really use it like I should. I'm trying to keep him honest with my V-Skill. Um, Bison can... Bison can, can keep up with most Fireball Wars with his V-Skill. Um, if you have a, a stock of meter, you can uh, throw out your own projectile. And that always goes up well. But, you know, sometimes you just need to keep them honest. Anyway. You win. That was a fairly quick set with the Urian. Oh, my back. Sorry. Fairly quick set with the Urian. Went over very well. I'm pleased. Um, see if we can find anything else. I apologize. I probably should have cut these into two. But why cut these into two when I can sit and talk to you? Hi, guys. How was your day? Uh, as you saw, uh, this is the bison with the EX color, by the way. I got that. Um, I paid for that, that package. The reason I paid for that package is to help support Capcom Cup. I know that seems like a lot of people, there's a lot of wailing and gnashing of teeth about trying to, you know, about Capcom trying to bleed us with this because I do have the season pass as well. However, Capcom Cup is something good and it's specific to the community. And I think we should support things that are specific to the community like this. We have to kind of let them know, hey, look, it, we actually do care that what you're doing and stuff. We actually do appreciate that there are tournaments that go on. Even if they're not run the way we want them to, even if they're not featuring people we want them to, you got to kind of support the people that support the community because this keeps your game going. Yes, it's extra money. Yes, we ain't rich. But you got to keep it going. Like, pay it forward to the community. Pay it forward to the content creators and hopefully they'll continue to create good content. Because Capcom actually does listen. They're slow, but they do listen. Anyway, I um, think I have another match coming up. Coming up soon. As you see, they could use the money to help their net go a little. But part of this is me. Um, I'm still kind of low rank. I think I'm still in bronze, which is terrible. I came out of bronze into silver once, and then I just had a bad night, and everything came tumbling down. So, I kind of fluctuate between silver and bronze, mostly in bronze. But, it's okay. I'm learning every day. The more you learn, the better you get, the better you get. The faster you get out of silver. I just gotta stop making stupid mistakes. And hopefully, I will not make many stupid mistakes in the next match, provided that we find it before I die. Round and round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Let's talk a little bit more about Bison. Bison is a heavy hitter. I really enjoy Bison um, because he he does hit pretty hard. The I am super happy that they gave him a command move that was not a charge move. Um, I don't know what the name of it's called though. I can't remember what the name of it. It's a fairly new move, but it's the one where he calls the psycho power from the ground. Um, the EX version does it on both sides, and that makes it a very formidable, formidable move. I do like that move. I don't use it as often as I should. I should use that to finish my combos a little more than using just um, just his charge moves. I, I, use, I tend to use his scissor kick a lot just because I'm used to using his scissor kick a lot. Like in Street Fighter 4, ending with the scissor kick was a very good plan or ending with the psycho crusher. There's no psycho crusher here, so we won't be ending with that. <laughs> um, I think one of the better reasons I like Bison is because... I am not super comfortable with him, but I am past a stage, or either I just don't like, maybe I just don't like, um, or maybe I like his EX move. I like his EX move so much that I'm not relying so much on the heavy combo with the um, super. If you watch me play a lot of games with a lot of other characters, I'm trying to work in a combo. Excuse me. I'm trying to work in a combo where I can get that super coming out. That's a very good plan to do. I can usually do a pretty good chunk of damage if you got the right combo. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. A little bit of lag, right? Um, but, with Bison, I'm doing a lot more EX. Um, coming up against a Mika, the trick with Mika is to remember... Right now, I'm just trying to pick my punches where I can. The trick with Mika is to remember that you don't want to be in the corner. Because once she gets you in the corner, she has infinite options. And remember that she's more rushed down than anything else. Like... If there's anything that Mika wants to do, it is to get in close to you and just stymie you with a bunch of movement, with a bunch of kicks. Some highs, some lows, she, she can move all over the place. I try, 
try not to worry too much about her V trigger unless it's mid combo. If it's mid combo and she calls for the V trigger, then I'm starting to pay attention because I'm betting there's a mix up coming. And there's not a lot I can do. I don't know why I jumped back right there. That was my um, Another thing for all you aspiring Street Fighter players out there if your opponent gives you the game, take it. Don't let them come back. I mean, a lot of people try to go for the big combo. A lot of people try to make it flashy, style them a little bit. I can't style them like I should. So the best advice I can give you is to take them out as soon as possible. That's that standing um, roundhouse. Wow, that, that went really well. <laughs> if I had been thinking, I would have used my super right there. And that would have ended that round. Um, but that standing roundhouse is great, especially on wake up. It comes out a little faster than you think it comes out. And it has a crush counter. So if you can hit him with that... You get that crush counter, go immediately into crouching uh, strong, or at least I typically go immediately into crouching strong and into some type of finisher. It's really nice because you can go into um, either scissor kick or mostly in almost any of his other moves and immediately into super, super buffered. So you can deal pretty good damage off just the standing fierce. Also, it's fierce, so you get some pretty good stun out of it too. As you see, Mika's a little more active right now which makes me a little more nervous. I tried to get her in the corner and try to get out of the corner. Uh, that's the other thing about Mika, because her um, her forward strong moveset, you have to be careful when she's in the corner. Just like that. All it takes is one step and he's in the corner. I'm in the corner. Of and the trick with that is, like I got lucky there. I'm not too proud to admit that I got very, very lucky there because he mistimed his grapple because I was not expecting the grapple. I'm usually trying to guard for the hit because because a throw does not is not typically as devastating as a um, full combo. However, with Mika, because she has command grabs and good resets, like that, <laughs> puts you in the corner. I mean, sometimes it is better to take that combo than just take the command grab. Because if she command grabs you, puts you down with a hard knockdown, she can give you some pretty deep, well, maybe not hard knockdown, but put you down with a good uh, strong knockdown then she can make all kinds of setups see once again messed up her counter uh, she can make all kinds of setups and put you in dire straits I really thought I was dead there did I survive? yes when she went for the microphone I knew it was probably going to be a good idea to go for the flame just because it would hit more than, one, more than once and that would stop her armor anyway those are some bison matches I hope you enjoyed if you like hit the like if you love hit subscribe Comment. Help me get better. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great night. Bye. -bye.